You know, the funny thing is that if we take everybody that's been drinking in the quarter, the first quarter will be empty. Only in New Orleans. Right. <laughs> See the lights of the NOPD. Somebody going to jail. What's wrong with this dude? Uh, the guy over there, drunk, liberated. Uh, he hit this guy, tried to run, failed, hurt himself. All right. What's up, my man? He had a big cut on his head. He needed to go to the hospital, and that's all I cared about. I know I f***ed up. I didn't care about the story or how he ended up sitting on the sidewalk in handcuffs with a gash to his head. I had him put your cuffs in the front so you could be more comfortable. Oh, my god, my nose is bleeding. Your whole face is bleeding, brother. Why? I don't know. Imagine because your face hit the sidewalk. Because y'all made my face hit the sidewalk. Y'all? Dude, we didn't touch you. This dude is so drunk and belligerent that he actually thinks we're the cops. Yeah, hey, look, I'm gonna take your hat off and clean it up, all right? Yes, sir. All right. Did you fall? No, sir. I got into it with some paramedics, and that was it. Really? No, no, I'm the paramedic you talked to from the, from the beginning. You ain't never got into it with me. We're cool. This is 847. You hear me? Yes, sir. I'm listening. All right. I'm about to give you a summons to go up to the parent court. OK. It's imperative that you do appear in court. NOPD is questioning the patient and wants to see his ID. So since his hand is injured, I was just trying to help him get his wallet out of his pocket. You got anything that's going to hurt me? No, 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 sir. There's no knives. There's no guns. That's just money and a lighter. You're a stupid I'll punch you harder than you could ever do. Anytime you have somebody that's intoxicated, it's frustrating. And, you know, that's your litmus test, I guess. I mean, your ability to stay cool and kind of handle those calls professionally is what, what's important. You gonna punch me? You the one say you're gonna punch me. I won't punch you. Bro. Then we're on the same page. Let's sign that. At first, he was not interested in cooperating with the police department, and finally, they did get him to sign the summons. <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh, my God, dude, right now. Oh, that bump right there just kicked my ass. My back hurts so bad right now. Huh? Well, we'll get you some medicine for it at the hospital. No, 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 no. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, my neck. What just happened? You ain't stupid, are you? No, I'm not. Me neither. Oh, my neck. Damn, what you doing that man back there? That ass driving, you be Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. There's one thing in this world I don't want to happen. What's that? Anything bad to happen. I appreciate it. Hey, you and me, we all right. It's real f***ed up right now, dude. I couldn't agree more. I'm actually a nurse as well as a paramedic. The great thing about being a paramedic, when we get someone that's drunk and combative, we only have to deal with them for a short amount of time. When I work as a nurse, I get that patient for a while. You guys are great guys, <laughs> dude. Heard it twice, hospital. You guys are great people. Listen, don't get upset. You guys are great guys. I don't, I don't know. I don't know against you. <laughs> this guy will definitely get a couple stitches in his head, but probably what he really needs is just to go home, sleep it off, and call it a night. Oh, God, dude, my back hurts so bad. Oh, my neck. Yeah, it's crazy how the dude went from being a jerk in the beginning to being less than sane in the middle and right. then, like, sobbing and crying, you know, like a kid at the end of it. I almost seen like he went through the, what, the four stages of, uh, of grieving. Is it five or four stages? I don't know. I'm, you feel you know, like I, you might be making that no, up? No, I'm not. Okay. Denial. Right. Bargaining. Then there's some anger. That he got anger, then right. acceptance. But anyway, I don't think there's anything like that. I think he just had a last race. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man, let's go. <laughs> File 39 Alpha is requesting EMS to the district station for a subject with possible dislocated shoulder from an assault. So somebody might have a dislocated shoulder at the police station. We do have a code for just in case you were wondering. So we don't have a code for the police station. They some issues. We got some issues, some things we need to some talk about. Some things are afoot. We respond to the police stations here in the city quite often. We do get a lot of people that ask for an ambulance when they're being arrested to try to get out of going to jail. But this gentleman, in my eyes, is a patient. I don't care what he's done. He has a valid complaint. And my job is to make sure that he's OK. I love that it be outside. What's going on, my man? Hey, what's going on? Got some scratches to, like, the face and the neck. And right. then he's complaining of a dislocated shoulder from back in November. I, I guess it's still start? bothering him. Back in November? All right. Let's see if I can get him. 
doing, brother? No. Do you want to go to the hospital? Yeah. All right. I'm going to take care of you, all right? You're going to be all right, bro. What's your name, man? All nice right, to meet man. you, man. Now, look, does your shoulder pop out a lot, bro? I, I sit off a ladder, and I dislocated my shoulder. When did that happen? In November. In November. All right, so in every now and then, you can feel it when it get cold. Not every night and every day. Every day every is hurting day. you? All right, come on, brother. He's complaining of shoulder pain, but we do notice that he's handcuffed. He has to be uncuffed so we can do a better assessment. Until this guy gets uncuffed, we don't know for sure. So you fell off a ladder. Which shoulder is it? We try to do it I guess as easy as we can, all right? All right, let's take this arm out, bro. I'm gonna feel, I, I, I'm just looking at it, all right, friend? I ain't <laughs> Look, gonna we, touch it. We got a palpate, though, Yeah, right? I gotta feel if there's a little gap right here, all right? Let me feel the shoulder. I know my hand's probably cold. Yeah. As Titus and I are assessing this patient's shoulder, it doesn't appear that his shoulder's dislocated, but he's still in a lot of pain. At this point, I'm thinking this is a chronic issue. The patient says he's been having shoulder pain for a few months now. So really, we just need to get him to the hospital and let him check him out and make sure he's okay. So look, tonight, I see you got some scratches on you. Hold up, look, I'm gonna pull this down one time, all right? So you got scratches on your nose and your face. Where you hit? I don't know. All right. Rough night, huh, man? Hey, so I'm gonna get your blood pressure and stuff, all right, friend? For the most part, man, we don't see, thank God, it didn't pop out, bro, just so it's just giving you chronic pain, all right? All right, Dutch, look, I'm gonna sit back here, hold you down, all right, bro? And we're gonna get you to the hospital, I'm gonna right? go pilot this thing, man. That you cool with you? You cold? That was, what was that? That was like a gibber. What is that jump, dog? Look, I'm gonna put a cold. sheet on you, bro. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. Man, look, I'm looking at your heart. You always jump like that? What's hurting you? Is the shoulder? Yes, I don't know. It just happens sometimes. You still good? Yeah, I'm good. All right. I got it. Every time you jump like that, it's throwing your heart off rhythm. That's that's definitely not natural. Since it's doing that, we're gonna take look. We're gonna take a, a picture of your heart. All right. I noticed that this patient right now, he's starting to shake. It's almost like he's having seizure activities, but I know it's not a seizure because he's alert. He's talking to me. What's hurting you? Nothing hurt, but it's just something that feel like it's sending shocks through you or something. Yes. Have you ever had a heart attack or something like that before? As soon as I do this 12 lead, I'm reading it, and bam, it hits me. Something is going on with him. We have a cardiac rhythm that's not adding up to what it's supposed to be, and I'm seeing indications that this may be a possible heart attack. What I'm seeing right now is elevations. Elevations could be signs of a heart attack, all right? But we don't know if that's a heart attack or not. You don't have any chest pains, correct? All right, good. All right, try to hold still. I don't like this happening. Look, Dex, you got to tell me, man, is something hurting you? If your chest is hurting you, we can try. Stomach. It's your stomach. All right, now we talk. Brother, you got elevations in three or four different leads. You do having a heart attack. All right, look, I'm going to give you some aspirin. Put them in your mouth, brother. Now we're going to go to the cardiac yeah. protocols. I'm going to hit him with the nitro. I'm going to hit him with the aspirin. We in a whole new ball game. We need to get this patient treated accordingly. All right, Dex, hold, hold your tongue up for me, man. Open your mouth and hold your tongue to the top of your, to the roof of your mouth. That's just like that. Now, this dude got elevation. Start to have some chest pain? Yeah. He's, he's literally having an actual heart attack. No, it's the EMS University patient report. Go ahead. Hey, look, I got a 50-year-old patient recently complaining about shoulder pain, chronic. When we got there, he's alert person, place time event with GCS 15. He's kind of jumping a little bit, throwing himself into like a dysrhythmia. He's not complaining of any chest pain. He said it happens to him. It's, we should be there in the next two to three minutes. All right, proceed to EMS triage. Tex, we got to get this taken care of. Dude, that escalated quickly. That was crazy, man. Just something about this cat, bro. He just wasn't looking right. Yeah, when he would, like, do those little right. wrench and pain, that, 
it was something strange about so it. So I was like, man, maybe it's that a seizure or something, but it wasn't, but it was like so natural for him to do that. And it, it's almost like he was doing it subconsciously. Like he didn't know right. he was actually doing that. And dude, he kept complaining that shoulder pain, but the thing about it, it was one of those calls that you cannot just focus on one thing, right? We can't, you can't never be tunnel vision. I didn't think it was going in that direction. You know, I thought it was, I hate to say it, it sounds cliche, but he's getting arrested, he don't want to go to jail. But. Dude, when you think it's something, there's always something else. That's why everybody gets a full assessment right there. This man was having a strictly heart attack. You? You the man. Hey, let him doing my thing, but I know what you're not doing, man. I ain't delivering no babies no. tonight, man. 32, 32, pull in for me in South Liberty. Gonna be plus 10, 15, relax to the arm. After a chase. 32, 32 in a row. Mm. 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 Don't run from the popos. All right, that's enough of this for the night, man. There's a bed in the mug already. There you go. 32, 32. Oh, look at what just breezed in the door. <laughs> Hi, lovely. What's up? Hi. What's up, man? How you been, bro? What Good. happened? Good to see you. Yeah. Yeah. He just got a few abrasions and stuff. Clean it up for y'all if y'all want. Manage it up. On his stomach, too. Oh, that's just superficial scratches. What you doing? <laughs> chasing people? No, nah, I'm trying to get away from all that chasing. I said, man, I see my limping now. I'm, I'm hurt. I'm beat, I'm beat down. <laughs> right Can we unstuff him for like one second? You know, I go run, huh? Uh-uh. You know, I'm I go go jump it out? I ain't gonna do none of that. Oh, I'll clear the fence. All right. Why you ran? Because I was smoking weed. That's it? Wrong you were smoking weed. It's not illegal to smoke weed. Don't listen to her. It's not illegal. You just, it's it ain't, it ain't worth weed. running, though. That's for sure. No, you shouldn't have ran. All right, you're all right, baby. That'll heal. Just put some meat and and stuff on it. That's it. Good to go. You free. Well, kind of. Well, you kind of free. You're not yeah, exactly you free, but you know what? Double locker? Ah, uh, no. That's your job. He, he good to go? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's good. Why is he getting arrested? Just from running for y'all? Running from us with a gun. Oh, oh he, had a he gun? left out the gun part. He left out the gun part. He just told us he was smoking weed and he got scared. That's why they initially ran. We 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 go around there all the time. Every time we hit the block, then yeah. yeah. right. Today they got caught. This is 49 Elvis. The response to a pursuit involving an overturned vehicle. 62 49, you could put me on that as well. The notes at this time say that everybody's out, but there are multiple injuries. So I'm actually going to get them to start a second unit that way. There she goes. Good girl. We copy. Police flip over two or three vehicles involved. They said the police car flipped over? I, I don't know. I don't know. know. They said it, it was a pursuit. I can see the police. 249, I'm on scene. There's fire up there. I see the lights. All right. You can show us an area. Hey, y'all have anybody in the car? So the driver has injuries. Uh, don't know how significant. I know he's kind of cut up from the broken glass. Uh -huh. Obvious rollover from a pursuit. Um, there's two other vehicles involved, I think. I don't know of any injury complaints. Okay. Uh, but he's up in this car. Okay. You have mass chaos on the interstate, and this is one of those scenes that really challenges your ability to multitask. Who needs to go to the hospital first? Who needs to go second? How many units do I need? Is traffic being blocked off? Is everyone around me in this scene and that's coming to the scene gonna be safe? First unit that's gonna pull up on this scene. You're gonna take the patient that's currently 1015. He's gonna be a trauma activation just by mechanism, just based off of like the rollover aspect of it. Okay, we coming up behind y'all right now. So we got we got the guy that that was 10, running. 15, yeah. All right, we got the 1015 guy. I don't judge people. My job is to help people. My job is to help the hurt, help the wounded. No matter what he did, I still have to treat him with respect. Come this way. I see him. They're walking. He's a, um, he's a trauma activation? Yeah, he flips on interstate speed. Okay. 
So turn and sit your butt that way first. Put your back that way. We're going to take those handcuffs off of you. Do you show us your patient contact? This is going to be a trauma activation. And so my second unit that's coming past all of us, there's a red car, a red vehicle. Y'all got him? Yeah, we, yeah, got, we him. got him, baby. All right, guys. Thank you, Holly. PD informed me that they're going to be following me to the hospital because as soon as this patient gets patched up and discharged, he's going right back to jail. Hi. Yes, Hi, Mama. Do you want them all to go? Yes. OK. Yes. Was this baby in a car seat? Yes. All right, Mama. Come here, you little butter bean. Hi. I'll go get her hooked up in the uh, child seat. Hi. You ready? You ready? Kids, they don't see it coming, they don't get scared, they don't tense up, and if they're properly restrained, which, you know, this little angel baby was, typically they're not hurt in wrecks. Ooh, you're in a big girl car seat. It's a bright spot in the night, and it's a bright spot in all the chaos. You're so cute. trauma activation. All right, little mama. All right, little mama. Bye. Can you say bye-bye? Can you say bye-bye? All right, Caleb, roll out. The rollover at interstate speeds usually means that there's a critical patient or a severely injured patient. They got lucky, and I think everybody's in stable condition. I don't think they'll have any major devastating injuries, but they may have a few minor injuries. 6249, I'm clear. New Orleans, 911, what is your emergency? I just don't want him around me. I've been begging him all day to get the f from around me. He's going through personal problems in his life. I'm scared because the threats and f that he's making. Have you asked him to leave? I've been asking this man to leave now since 9 o'clock this morning. He done bashed his head against the gate and all that. He got a hickey on his head and all that. Does anyone need any medical attention? He might need medical attention. Can y'all see tell the police not to come with the sirens and all that because he gonna run? All right, if it's safe to do so, separate yourself and avoid further contact. PD unit, request an EMS for a detained subject that slammed his head in the back of the unit and broke the window. I am headed to a male subject that was in custody with NOPD and they said he slammed his head against the window hard enough to break it. So automatically in my head, I hear excited delirium. That takes a lot of force, a lot of willpower. That's not just, you know, let me out of this car. Because that's one of those hot button topics around the country right now is those people that die in police custody. I think it's something that needs better training within emergency medicine in the pre-hospital setting is how to recognize excited delirium and how to treat excited delirium to avoid, you know, those spontaneous cardiac arrests that happen. It can be caused by things like, let's say you have a home invasion, somebody breaks into your house. You know, I had a patient like that recently and her body just literally went into this high alert state. Your body just physiologically freaks the hell out. This guy's, it's probably cause, you know, you got arrested. 6249 on scene. So what window did he hit? Oh! Where's he at? What side of the car? This side? Okay. Is he still kind of amped up? Hi! To intentionally hurt yourself by slamming your head against the window is legit. But you should walk into any call judgment free. Treating someone in custody is no different than treating somebody that is not in custody. If you have a medical complaint, it doesn't matter to me. That's what I'm there for. It's not on me to judge. What's your name, baby? OK, but this is the thing. So you're bleeding, you got glass in your face, you got a big old bump on your forehead. If it's going to kill me, let it kill me. I'm going to die for this OK, well, we're going to have to check you out, OK? So what we'll do is, um, so he broke that window. Did you see it? No. Come see. So when you guys had him, was this like anger or did he seem like an excited delirium? No, no, I mean, he was calm. He was a little agitated he was being arrested. He was yeah. calm coming out of the house. Uh -huh. And, you know, we were going to, going to search him to put him in the car and he just, uh -huh. but up to okay. that point. So we're gonna have to take him for sure because he's got obvious injuries. The most concerning thing that I'm seeing is the hematoma that he has to his head and knowing how much force it takes 
to break a window like that, you should be relatively concerned about bleeding on the brain. This guy should definitely get a CT. They gonna clean you up, they gonna bandage you up. That's all they gonna do, all right? Can you sit right here? That's some hard glass, and the fact that you broke it, you put some force on my head, man. You see how bad I am, that I'm going to jail, right. and I'm about to miss my daughter's birthday for nothing. I'm going to all this. This is going to make sick. that, baby? Okay. It doesn't look to be an excited delirium. His pupils are not dilated. He's not tachycardic. He's not breathing rapidly. This guy is obviously having a really bad day, and he's upset. All right, my man. Look, we're going to check your vital signs. We're going to take a look at the little stuff you have on your head and all of that. We're here for your medical problem. You do. You slammed your head into a window. So can you tell us what happened? Like, why you hit your head on the back of the car? I don't want to talk to y'all. OK. Can you tell us what year it is and what month it is? I don't care what year it is. I don't OK. Care what month it is. All right. So we're going to take y'all over to university, OK? Head injuries for everybody are unique. So him saying, I don't know, I don't care, is that stubbornness or is that the head injury? We don't know. But there's one sure way to find out, and that's a CAT scan. Can you look up? Put your head back. Here, I'm gonna lay you back. Come. Relax your head back on the stretcher. Oh, relax. Can you relax your head back? We're trying to help you. We're not the police. How y'all helping me? We, look, we're here for your medical issue. You got glass all over your face. Your face is all busted up. I'm trying. You want that glass in your eye? I'm okay with you want to lose your vision? Don't you have a child? Let me get the glass from by your eye. Let me get this glass from by your eye, please. All right, I'm gonna use this tape. I'm gonna just push it on there. It's gonna pull the glass off. All right, close your eyes. Put your head back for me. Okay. okay. You look a little zesty somebody. Okay, but I didn't do that to you. I'm here trying to help you. Okay. You mad at the wrong people. So we're gonna have to take him. He can't refuse um, because he's got obvious injuries. But he won't answer any of our questions, so we can't technically say he's yeah, alert, you know. Fine. He's going to have to get medically cleared anyway. All right, guys, y'all be careful. 6249, you can show 3249 and we're out with one patient. Um, NOP is going to be following them to the hospital, and you can show me clear. I can't even imagine smashing my head against a damn window that hard to break a window like that. Safe, be strong. Let's do this. Get that stretcher in here. You're gonna bleed to death. <laughs> you know, they're not dead. I can work with that. 